Welcome everybody, I'm Damo. I'm Nick. And today we're going to be watching Field of Dreams. So this is a poll winner that's been put together by our patrons. Mm. Um, it's done really well in multiple polls and yeah, we're really excited to get to watch this one. It's Kevin Costner. Kevin Costner, yeah. Kevin yeah. Costner and 1989. If yeah. you don't, if you haven't come across the channel before, we do have another channel where we heavily watch a lot of baseball uh, videos anyway. I think we've probably got over 100 on there, so... We, we feel like we're probably not pros, but not no. pro players, definitely. But, no, no, no. but we, we, know our way, we know our way around the game pretty well, don't yeah, we? Yeah, especially from yeah, where we yeah, started. Yeah, we can confidently watch a game, know what's going on. Definitely. Um, and yeah, yeah, and, and really enjoy it. It's become one of my favourite sports. Oh, easily. Without, without a doubt. And that's coming from me following the Padres. Yeah. Which has been a rough, very bumpy <laughs> ride. Very, very yeah. bumpy ride. This is going to be our third baseball movie. Already, we've obviously we've had Moneyball, yeah, Moneyball we had Sandlot. Sandlot, and now Field of Dreams. Yeah. So you have to let me know where you rank this one out of the three come the end. Should we get into it? Yeah, let's take a look. Oh, Ray Liotta. Ray Liotta. Shoeless Joe. I, I know that name. My father's name was John Kinsella. It's an Irish name. He never saw a big city until he came back from France in 1918. World War One. World War One, yeah. Where he quickly learned to live and die with the White Sox. The White Sox. He died a lot the following summer when eight members of the team were accused of throwing that series. He played in the minors for a year or two, but nothing ever came of it. Already an old man working at the Naval Yards when I was born in 1952. Mom died when I was three, and I suppose Dad did the best he could. Dad was a Yankees fan then, so of course I rooted for Brooklyn. And when it came time to go to college, I picked the farthest one from home I could find. I marched, I smoked some grass, I tried to like sitar music, and I met Annie. After graduation, we moved to the Midwest and stayed with her family as long as we could. As long as we could. <laughs> uh, that's like us. A few years later, Karen was born. She smelled weird, but we loved her anyway. <laughs> I'm 36 years old, I love my family, I love baseball, and I'm about to become a farmer. Until I heard the voice, I'd never done a crazy thing in my whole life. I could not be a farmer. No, no, it's too much, terrible. Hard, too much hard work for me. People better nick me cows when you realise for about four months. <laughs> <laughs> nice though, to live in a big house, I suppose. Yeah. But would you want to live out in the middle of nowhere like no that. I like I like being close to sort of a, a town like, I like yeah. to be able to pop to the shop whenever I want yeah. and not have to drive yeah. 25 miles if you build it they will come <laughs> a little goofy smile at that that would freak me out yeah <laughs> now he looks panicked yeah Maybe you thought he imagined it at first. Right. And I was like, hey, Annie! Annie, what was that? What was that? That voice just now. What was it? We didn't hear anything. I don't know what I'd be thinking right now. I have to kind of a lay down. Build it. He will come. Okay, you must have heard that. Sorry. <laughs> hey, come on in to dinner. Is that a wasp I heard? Uh, yeah, probably. wonder if I was imagining things. Is there like a sound truck on the highway or something? Nope. Hey, Karen, dinner's ready. Kids with a radio? Nope. That was definitely not a radio. No. Just one. What did it say? It's whispering at him to be... If you build it, he will come. If you build what, who will come? He didn't say. <laughs> didn't go into any detail. Eat it when that happens. Me too. <laughs> I can't work out if they were just joking with each other. I think she was being sarcastic. Right, okay. <laughs> As if, like, just yeah. dismissing what he's saying. It is he will come, isn't it? Yeah. Normal not to shut your curtains. No, <laughs> <laughs> what? What is this? It's okay, honey. I'm I was just talking in the cornfield. <laughs> well, anyway, I was walking down along the street and I, I heard this voice saying, Good evening, Mr. Dog. And here was this big six foot rabbit leaning up against the lamp. I hate them six foot rabbits. Why did you do that? It was funny. Trust me, Karen, it is not funny. The man is sick. I got some errands to do in town. Far out! He does not look like a farmer. 
No. Hey, what if the voice calls while you're gone? <laughs> Take a message. <laughs> Bye. 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 Well, it's just I've heard that sometimes farmers out in the field, they, they hear things, you know? Voices? You hearing voices? Did you ever hear voices out there? Who's hearing voices? Ray is. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not. <laughs> you tried playing it so cool as well. Yeah. Noises. You know, that darn tractor. Uh, nice talking to you. The voice is going to have to get more creative. Yeah, a bit more, bit more info as well. If you build it, he will come. All right, that's it. Huh? Who are you, huh? What do you want from me? Ask him. Bill what? If you build it, he will come. Is that his dad? Or Shoeless Joe, his favourite player. You don't suppose this is like acid flashback or anything, do you? I never took acid. Well, maybe it will someday. It's like a flash forward. I think I know what if you build it, he will come means. I think it means that if I build a baseball field, <laughs> Shoeless Joe Jackson He's, will get to come back and play ball again. Just Shoeless Joe, yeah. Wow. Yeah. You're kidding. This, this is the craziest thing I've ever heard. I know, it's totally nuts. I mean, Shrewless Joe. He's dead. Did you know Babe Ruth copied his swing? If I did, I'd forgotten it. I didn't know. You're supposed to be so graceful and agile. Wait, wait, wait a minute, Bob. Well, are you actually thinking of doing this? No. Yeah. I mean, I can't think of one good reason why I should. She's dealing with this remarkably well. Yeah. I'm 36 years old. I have a wife, a child, and a mortgage, and I'm scared to death I'm turning into my father. I never forgave him for getting old. He must have had dreams. You know? But he never did anything about him. And something tells me that this may be my last chance to do something about it. I want to build that field. Do you think I'm crazy? Yes, but I also think if you really feel you should do this, you should do it. I 99% of people would have a very different approach to that. Yeah, definitely. Especially as they're going to have to take down crops to do it, right? Yeah, it's, it's big old space. Ty Cobb called him the greatest left fielder of all time. He said his glove was the place where triples go to die. Why'd they call him Shoeless Joe? Give my shoes. Well, when he was still in the minors, he'd bought a new pair of spikes and they hurt his feet. He played the rest of the game in just his socks. The other players kidded wow. him, called him Shoeless Joe, and the name stuck. He's going to lose his farm. <laughs> People coming out to watch. <laughs> His team, the Chicago White Sox, they threw the World Series. Gamblers paid them to. Now, he did take their money, but nobody could ever prove he did a single thing to lose <laughs> those games. I mean, if he's supposed to be throwing, how do you explain the fact that he hit 375 for this series and didn't commit one error? Huh? Pretty impressive. The series only home run. They said he's trying to lose. And the commissioner of baseball suspended eight of the players, including the great Shoeless Joe Jackson for life. You know, that's eight of them out forever. Mm. Dad used to say nobody could hit like Shoeless Joe. I think that's the first time I've ever seen you smile when you mentioned your father. I have just created something totally illogical. That's what I like about it. It's a good baseball field, right? <laughs> yeah, that's a nice field, Pat. Yeah, no, it is. It's pretty, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Just gotta wait for him to turn up now. Mm. I'm not exactly entirely clear on why he dislikes his father so much, other than the fact he got old. Any sign? They didn't tell us at the beginning, did they? I don't think so, no. Out there. I can feel it. Ah, oh, so he's built it a lot not, of times gone past. Not expecting a very big crowd. Tiny, <laughs> tiny bleachers. Yeah, yeah, he's only waiting for one person. Yeah. Don't know who's going to pitch. Daddy, what's a southpaw? <laughs> Left-hander. Mm. It means a left-handed pitcher, honey. So how bad is it? Considering how much less acreage we have for corn, I say we'll probably almost break even. We used up all our savings on that field, Ray. Daddy. Just a minute, Karen. Daddy. In a minute, Karen. There's a man out there in your lawn. I thought she was going to say that. Oh, OK. <laughs> you think it's going to be him? I don't know. I think it's too early for an appearance. I think it's going to be him. There he is. Nice, your shoes yeah, on. Yeah, disappointing. 
<laughs> I've only ever seen him in one film before and it is such a different film to this so this is going to be weird. <laughs> it's the gangster film, I can't think what it's called. Left all those baseball bats outside. Yeah. Lucky yeah. there's no youths around there. Yeah. I don't think there's many people that live there. That's good. Don't tell me you would have smashed it right to him. <laughs> oh, 100%. I, I get some out there. Nice. Yeah. Just needed a warm better. up. Interesting to see the old design of the Chicago yeah. Sox jersey. Ray Kinsella. Joe Jackson. I think if I take him out with this bat. <laughs> Steal this farm. Getting thrown out of baseball. It was like having part of me amputated. I'd wake up at night with the smell of the ballpark in my nose, the cool of the grass on my feet, the thrill of the grass. Can you pitch? Yeah. I told you they were gonna need a pitcher. Huh? It's him. Not bad. Where do you think this is gonna go? I really don't know where the story's gonna go from this, so I can't think where it, where it can go. Surely Joe Jackson's not actually back alive. This is all in his head. Don't we need a catcher? Yeah, it must be in his head. Pitching to Shoeless Joe Jackson. <coughs> right, we're gonna need some new balls. Yes. I mean, if he keeps doing that, <laughs> just thinking that. See if you can hit my curve. I think he might. I think he's gonna be all right. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Put one right here, huh? I made right. a seven that have already gone. Yeah. Right. You're a low ball hitter. Man, I did love this game. The sounds, the smells. Did you ever hold a, a ball or a glove to your face? Yeah. You ever done that with your balls? I'm not sniffing them. Yeah. Nah. You've got two here, haven't you? You want to sniff one? <laughs> <laughs> it was a crowd. Rising to their feet, the ball was hit deep. I'd have played for nothing. It's my family. What's with the lights? Oh, all the stadiums have them now. Even Wrigley Field. <laughs> it's harder to see the ball. Yeah, well, the owners found that more people could attend night games. Owners. Can't leave. Mr. Jackson, this is my wife, Annie, and my daughter, Karen. Ma'am? Hi. You look real to me. Well, then I guess I'm real. Would you like to come inside? Uh, thanks. I don't think I can. Can I come back again? Yeah. I built this for you. There are others, you know. It really mean a lot to them. Oh, wait. He's going to bring the whole lot back. Is this heaven? No. It's Iowa. No. She's just going to disappear the second that he leaves. Yeah. We're keeping this field. <laughs> you bet your ass we are. You're going to lose your farm, pal. Ray, Ray. The stupid baseball field's going to bankrupt you. Everybody knows it. If you sell now, my partners will give you more than fair price. You can walk away with a Thanks, nest Mark. egg, Ray. Thanks, Mark, but no. I mean, it's I. you never liked Iowa. That's not yes, true. Come on. That's not true. You've never liked farming. But... I know a lot about farming. Well, then how could you plow under your major crop? 
What's a crop? <laughs> <laughs> Daddy, the baseball game is on. Excuse us. Annie, I don't believe this guy. I mean, I'm trying to bail him out and he goes off to watch television. That looks different in the day's one. There's the boys. All eight. Mm. <laughs> Gonna go on and play the Ghost Leagues. <laughs> Game one against Ghostbusters. <laughs> and if they're out, they get hoovered up by those little machines I've got. Maybe he needs to find a way to monetize this. And then he can keep the farm. I don't know who can see them though. I don't. We don't know yet if uh, they're invisible to everyone. Watch Joe. Watch his feet. See when a pitcher gets a sign and starts a pitch. Good left fielder knows what pitch is coming. He can tell from the angle of bat. So the left fielder, by the looks of it. If you'd run like that against Detroit, I'd have won 20 games that year. For Pete's sake, Chicoli, that was 68 years ago. <laughs> 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 Come on, asshole! Pitch! Weaver. Nice. Sorry, kid! It's okay. I don't mind. <laughs> Ray? Honey, um, Mom and everybody's leaving now. Thanks for coming. Okay, so they definitely can't see them then. Ray, think about what I said. You know, I'm just trying to help. I know. So I thought you two were going to watch some game. No, it's just strange that the daughter and the wife can. Because it's not really a game, it's more like a practice. Rusty! See, there's only eight of them, so they can't play a real game. Eight of what? Yeah. Them. Who them? Them, them. Well, you don't see him? Karen, honey? Uh, what are you watching? The baseball man. You really don't see him? I don't think it's very polite to try to make other people feel stupid. That's what they spent the whole time there doing. They're trying to make him feel stupid the entire time. Yeah. Funny, Annie. <laughs> <laughs> this one. They couldn't see it. This is really interesting. <laughs> He's gonna have to be the ninth flyer. This 68 years since I wore this uniform still fits me like a glove. Now let's see, I died in 70. That means I haven't had a cigarette in what? 18 years. <laughs> <laughs> See you guys. I'm melting! I'm melting! <laughs> oh, that's a, that's a Wizard, of, Wizard of Oz reference. Right. What? I didn't understand. What? Ease his pain. His pain. Mm. What the hell does that mean? Ease his pain. What pain? He was just melting. Right? Who's paying? Thanks a lot. What happened to you? The voice is bad. Oh, look. <laughs> you don't have to build a football field now, do you? <laughs> <laughs> He's who's paying? I asked him. He wouldn't tell me. Ray, this is a very non-specific voice you have out there, and he's starting to piss me off. I can't work it out, either. No. Nah. He's having a fun day today, you know, a good day. I'm fly. And, and I, I say, say smut. smut. And filth like this has no place in our schools. Fascist. I like these her pain. It is considered by many critics to be the classic novel about the 1960s. And its author, Mr. Mann, he is sick. And he is widely regarded as the finest satirist of his time. What planet are these people from? And that is why right-thinking school boards all across the country have been banning this man's S-H-I-T. That's whose pain he's got to ease. You, you, you know why he stopped writing books? Because he masturbates. <laughs> what? Terence Mann was a warm and gentle voice of reason during a time of great madness. While other people were chanting, burn, baby, burn, he was talking about love and peace and understanding. And I think if you had experienced even a little bit of the 60s, you might feel the same way too. Well, your husband plowed under his corn and built a baseball field. The weirdo. <laughs> <laughs> At least he is not a book burner. At least I'm not married to the biggest horse's ass in three counties. All right, Beulah, do you want to step outside? <laughs> wow. Who wants to burn books? Who wants to spit on the Constitution of the United States of America? Anybody? Nope. 
Ah, it's gonna be a kick in her nuts. All right. Now, who's for the Bill of Rights? Who thinks freedom is a pretty darn good thing? No one votes here, this is gonna be well confusing. Yeah. Come on, come on, let's see those hands! <laughs> That is why Hillary Clinton went on to become a politician. <laughs> <laughs> All right, there you go, America. I love you. I'm proud of you. I mean it. <laughs> we gotta go. <laughs> this is great. She's getting a bit carried away. Yeah, she loved it. That's what I mean. So I'm just thinking, I could do this. Right, we got greater one. We figured it out. God, it was just like the '60s again. I, I just figured it out. Step outside. <laughs> <laughs> I know whose pain it is I'm supposed to eat. Wait, I just halted the spread of neo-fascism in America. You're talking- Terrence Mann. Oh, what's his pain? I don't know. Well, how are you supposed to ease it? Know. He's my favorite writer, too. But what's Terrence Mann got to do with baseball? What is he going to have to do with baseball? It's got all link in, right? Yeah, you'd think so. I bet he wishes he had Google right now. By the early 70s, the guy decides people have become either too extremist or too apathetic to listen to him. He starts writing poetry about whales and stuff. He writes software for interactive children's videos. I and mean, they, they teach kids how to resolve their conflicts peacefully. Well, what's he got to do with baseball? It's not his best work, but the hero of the story, the character... That wind looks strong. Mm. Get those papers in there. So, my father. Wow. Okay, the last interview he ever gave was in 1973. Guess what it's about? Mm. Baseball. Baseball. I was a baseball fanatic. Listen to this. As a child, my earliest recurring dream was to play at Ebbets Field. Never happened, and the Dodgers left Brooklyn, and they tore down Ebbets Field. But even now, I still dream that dream. No, he's not going to build the old Brooklyn Stadium <laughs> ballpark, surely. He was a pioneer in the civil rights and the anti-war movements. I mean, he made the cover of Newsweek, but what he missed was baseball. Oh, my God. What? As a small boy, he had a bat named Rosebud. <laughs> <laughs> so, in order to ease his pain, you're supposed to take him to a ball game. Yes. Ray, this is nuttier than building the baseball no, field. No, it's not. We are having moderate to heavy financial difficulties here, and you can't take off for Boston while we're going broke. When primal forces of nature tell you to do something, the prudent thing is not to quibble over details. Yeah, but why do you have to go? Huh? Why can't the boys send somebody else? Ray, we are behind on the mortgage. That field ate up all of our savings. We could lose this farm. I know this is totally nuts, but it, there's another reason I'm supposed to do it. I feel it. I feel it as strongly as I've ever felt anything in my life. I think something's gonna happen to the game. I don't know what, but there's something at Fenway Park and I gotta be there with Terrence Mann to find it out. Is Fenway the one with the big green wall in left field? Yeah. Yeah. I dreamt last night you were at Fenway with Terrence Mann. I was eating a hot, hot dog. dog. I had the same dream. <sighs> I'll help you pack. Wow. Okay. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. I'll be honest. <laughs> no, I no, I'm enjoying it. It's funny. I, oh, she's I, she's I, best character. Oh, she's, she's brilliant. brilliant. Yeah, yeah. yeah, she is brilliant. They go really well together. To be fair, mm. she's Do just it. crazy enough to put up with his crazy. Yes. Hi. <laughs> How do you do, Mr. Man? I have to take you to a base. All right, stupid. Put your hands up and get in the trunk. <laughs> that work. I don't know if any leaves to get away from me. I ain't gonna tell you nothing. Go away. Yes. Two blocks down, right hand side. First door that don't have a chicken in the window is his. That's very specific. <laughs> he just made that up. <laughs> He's got to, right? Oh wow, no, I think it might be legit. <laughs> Who the hell are you? <laughs> Sir, my name is Ray Kinsella. Whoa. Quick flush the toilet again. <laughs> Do it. Yeah. <laughs> we got a learning disability here? <laughs> Please. Look, I can't tell you the secret of life, and I don't have any answers for you. Ah, wait! Wait! I've come 1,500 miles to see you at the risk of losing my home and alienating my wife. One minute. Uh, that rings that little yeah. uh, like wind chime sort of thing. Hey, I understand your desire for privacy and 
I wouldn't dream of intruding if this weren't extremely important. You once wrote, there comes a time when all the cosmic tumblers have clicked into place and the universe opens itself up for a few seconds to show you what's possible. Oh my God. He's being sarcastic. You're from the 60s. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hey. <laughs> Back to the 60s. Wait a Back. second. There's no place for you here Just... in the future. Peace, love, dope. Now get the hell out of here. He's an angry man nowadays. Yeah, I mean, he didn't really use his minute very well when you think about it. No, he, he didn't, no. He, he definitely could have been more constructive with his uh, conversation. He, he could have just gone on a, you know, he knows he wants to go watch a baseball game, mm. so why not start there? Yeah, but he's about to trespass anyway, so... <laughs> <laughs> he's pretending he's got a gun. <laughs> <laughs> that is not going to work, surely. You really pissed me off. Okay, just hold it. I was hoping I wasn't going to have to do it this way. <laughs> <laughs> gun, what do you think it is? It's your finger. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I'm not going to show you my gun. What are you, what are you doing? I'm going to beat you with a crowbar. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait, you can can't do that. There are rules here? Oh no, there are no rules here. You're a pacifist! <laughs> <laughs> so what? You kidnapping me? What's the deal here? I was hoping I could just convince you to come with me. I have to take you to a baseball game. You what? Something will happen there. I don't, I don't know what, but we'll find out when it does. My name's Ray Kinsella. You used my father's name for a character in one of your stories. You're seeing a whole team of psychiatrists, aren't you? <laughs> I don't blame you for thinking that, but no, I'm not. Why are you kidnapping me to a baseball game? May I? Oh, please. <laughs> Want a cup of coffee? <laughs> Want some cookies? <laughs> oh, you always dreamed of playing at Ebbets Field and how sad you felt when they tore it down? I never said that. I don't even recall thinking that. This thing is so weird. And why go through with it? It's a long story. It's a really good story. And I'll tell you on the way. I'm not gonna get rid of you, am I? No. Well, you gotta go right now. Feels like they was cutting that kind of fine if I had to leave that quickly. I learned how to cook. I take walks. I watch sunsets. What's sure gonna happen at the ball game? I have no idea. So what do you want? I want them to stop looking to me for answers. Begging me to speak again, write again, be a leader. No, I meant... What do you want? <laughs> dog and a beer. Yeah, well, they, we know they have. We know they have dogs. Seven bucks. We went to Wembley, or no, West End, the Olympic Stadium, and I had yeah, three, stadium, it, three yeah. dogs. Oh, they were so hot. Dogs were so good, man. I haven't published a word in seventeen years, and still I have to endure lunatics like you. Yeah, do you know what? Usually, I can hazard a guess at things like this, and I, I am absolutely stumped. Yeah. Ah, oh, extra innings. Go the distance. Well, that's forever than the distance. Go the distance. So he's the only one that can see that message. Yeah, I guess so, yeah. Random stat to give otherwise. Yeah. What's the matter? You didn't see that? See what? Whenever you want to go, we can go. Fine, let's go. Go the distance, and then they've left immediately. <laughs> what is it you're not telling me? I've already taken up too much of your time. I wish I had your passion, Ray. Misdirected though it might be, it is still a passion. I used to feel that way about things. You got another message, didn't you? You think I'm crazy? I already think you're crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Said the man's done enough. Leave him alone. Moonlight Graham. Moonlight Graham. So what? You saw it. New York Giants, 1922. He played one game, he never got to bat. You know, we were the only ones who saw it. For Minnesota. Oh yeah. It's all right to admit it. It's what told me to find you. Did you did you hear it? Go the distance. Do you know what it means? Yes. What? Please tell me. It means we're going to Minnesota to find Moonlight Graham. What do we, we do when we find him? How the hell am I supposed to know that? That's right. That's You're right. I don't believe I'm doing this. <laughs> Road trip. <laughs> I feel like it's getting one of those films that it just confuses you all the way through. And then at the end, it's going to tie it all up and it's going to be like, 
Wow. I'm with Terrence Mann. Oh my God, you kidnapped him. <laughs> <laughs> Look, I'm really sorry, but I'm going to be a few days longer. We're, we're going to Minnesota now. Look, Ann, I got to go, okay? Um, give Karen a hug for me, and I love you. Someday explain all this to me, okay? I'll try. Bye-bye. Bye. Why didn't you tell her? Oh, no, she sold the farm. And he ain't got no choice in the matter. Wait, can she just sell the farm without him? I think the guys behind, the suits behind, they are um, maybe from people from the bank or the mortgage or whatever. And they're like, you haven't really got a choice now. Hello. Maybe you can help us. We're looking for an ex-baseball player named Archibald Graham. Oh, you mean Doc Graham? No, I think his nickname was Moonlight. His uh, baseball career never amounted to much, so he went back to school. Doc Graham is dead. I was going to say, surely he must be dead. He died in 1972. Well, he sounds like he was a wonderful man. Half the towns in North America have a Doc Graham. What makes this one so special? We have to travel halfway across the country to find him. There's got to be more. He always wore an overcoat. He had white hair. And he always carried an umbrella. But if you asked him, he really said he used it to beat away his lady admirers. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me about his wife. Alicia. She moved to South Carolina after Doc passed. She always wore blue. They knew if Doc walked by, he'd buy one. They found boxes of blue hats that he never got around to give her. I bet you didn't know that. No, I didn't. Shoeless Joe had a problem. That's why he needed you. This guy doesn't need us. Did you know you're missing? Oh, God. His father, who lives in Baltimore, notified police after receiving no answer to repeated telephone calls. Oh. I thought he said, you know, you're missing, because he's just packed up and left and gone with him. Yeah, that's, that's what happened. His dad, oh. Yeah, his dad's been trying to get older. Sorry, yeah, yeah, gotcha. I need to see the Godfather trilogy. Same, carrying the umbrella. Yeah. Dr. Graham? Dr. Graham? My name's Ray Kinsella. I'm from Iowa. Are you Moonlight Graham? No one's called me Moonlight Graham in 50 years. Well, I've come a very long way to see you. I mean, I'd like to talk to you. Let's walk over to my office. It was the last day of the season. Bottom of the eighth inning, we were way ahead. I'd been up with the club about, uh, oh, about three weeks, but I hadn't seen any action. I jumped up like I was uh, sitting on the spring, grabbed my glove, and ran out on the field. Did you get to make a play? I never hit the ball out of the infield. Came into the season, was over. I couldn't bear the thought of another year in the minors. So I, I decided to hang them up. It was like coming this close to your dreams, and then watch them brush past you like a stranger in a crowd. Back then I thought, well, there'll be other days. I didn't realize that that was the only day. That is true. Mm. What's so interesting about a half an inning that would make you come all the way from Iowa to talk to me about it? I think it's to ask you if you could do anything you wanted, if you could have a, a wish. And are you the kind of a man who could grant me that wish? Well, it'd be the ninth man. And you know, I, I never got to bat in the major leagues. I stare him down, and just as he goes into his wind up, Make him think you know something he does. <laughs> That's what I wish for. Feel the tingle in your arm as you connect with the ball. Then run the bases. Stretch your double into a triple. And is there enough magic out there in the moonlight to make this dream come true? What would you say if I said yes? I think I'd actually believe you. Well, sir, there's a place where things like that happen, and if you want to go, I can take you. This is my most special place in all the world, Ray. I can't leave just... I really think you're supposed to come with us. It'll have to stay a wish. I was born here. I lived here. I'll die here. I better be getting home. At least you'll think I got a girlfriend. That's why he carried our umbrella for. And then I figured maybe we're not supposed to take him with us. We need scout umbrellas. <laughs> so now I don't know why in the hell we were supposed to come here. Maybe. It was to find out if one anything can change the world. Well, your wife called before. She wants you to call us tonight. I talked to the bank. And I asked them if we could miss a payment or two. And they told me that they had just sold the note on the farm. <sighs> So the bank have sold it. They own the paper now. And he says, if we don't sell to them, they're going to foreclose. I've got to take Mr. Mann back to Boston first, all right? So it's, uh... No, I'm going to Iowa with you. <laughs> New busy. 
Uh, I'm trying to piece all of this together. Yeah. I- I'm wondering if it's still going to come back to be about his life. I feel like his dad's still got to come into it somehow. I need all the Carmike and Kit right now. What well, do you think we we'll finally find out the story of his dad? How far are you going? Iowa. Well, if it's okay with you, I think I'll just ride along a while. I play baseball. I heard that all through the Midwest, they have towns with teams. This is your lucky day, kid. We're going someplace kind of like that. I'm Ray Kinsella. This is Terrence Mann. Is that going to be... Hi. I'm Archie Graham. He's young now. So that's, that's Moonlight Graham? I believe so, yeah. Yeah, that's yeah. What I was thinking that. I was like, why would he just be in the middle of nowhere on his own? They haven't done that for years. My dad did that for a while, but that was in the 20s. Who introduces themselves to strangers with their full names like they just all did then? Flight 14. <laughs> that's when I read The Boat Rocker by Terrence Mann. Oh, you see, that's the kind of crap people always have to lay on me. <laughs> it's not my fault you wouldn't play catch with your father. Anyway, when I was 17, I packed my thing, said something awful, and left. Made it back to the funeral. Ah, uh, that's not good. No, that's it. That's very bad terms. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, and that's the thing. It wasn't clear. I, I feel like it's all going to culminate into his, his dad being yeah. there, yeah. playing baseball. He said, I could never respect a man whose hero was a criminal. Who was his hero? Shoeless Joe, right? Shoeless Joe Jackson. You knew he wasn't a criminal. Then why did you say it? Son of a bitch died before I could take it back. Yeah, I thought so. It's the only thing I could think. It's all to do with him making peace. Yeah. Never met my wife. Never saw his granddaughter. I can't bring my father back. So the least you can do is bring back his hero. Now I know what everybody's purpose here is. Except mine. Hmm. This is Terrence Mann. Terry. Welcome. Thank you. Hi, Terry. This is Archie Graham. Archie. Oh, wow. There's, there's loads of them. Hi, Ray. Welcome back. Thanks, Joe. That shoot is Joe Jackson. <laughs> of course it is. <laughs> of course it is. Like it's normal. Terry, I'd like you to meet shoeless Joe Jackson. Joe, Terry Mann. <laughs> Ray, I hope you don't mind, but we got tired of just having practices, so we brought another team out with us so we could have some real games. You wouldn't believe how many guys wanted to play here. We had to beat them off with a stick. Hey, that's Smokey Joe Wood. My bad roof turns up. Are you Graham? Yes, sir. Well, what are you doing on the sidelines here? All right, we'll go warm up. Yes, sir. <laughs> Rookies. Unbelievable. Mm. God, he looks like a baby out there next to these guys. <laughs> There's a wink. Yeah. <laughs> Oof. Don't let him shake you up, Arch. Hang in there, buddy. Hey, Knuckles, what are you throwing the kid for? He winked at me. <laughs> Don't wink, kid. <laughs> Good thing for you, we didn't throw the fastball, kid. Let's see that fastball. <laughs> Triple coming up. Oh. Hey, um, come hey. on, give us a break. Watch out, you don't get killed. <laughs> Time. <laughs> I love the fact they even going up. He's not going to want to load the bases, so look for low and away. Right. Come on, Let's go, get it. Bada, 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 bada. <laughs> <laughs> That'll put me right off. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's deep enough. Tag it! Hey! 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 Can't see any of it. It's Terrence Mann. Yeah, right. How do you do? I'm the Easter Bunny. Ray, listen, we need to yeah, stop. <laughs> Ray, you have no money. 
but I do have a deal to offer you that's going to allow you to stay on the land. Let us buy you out. We'll leave the house. You can what, live on it rent-free as long as you want. What about the baseball field? Ray, do you realize how much this land is worth? Read my lips, Mark. We're staying, all right? We're staying. Daddy, we don't have to sell the farm. Karen, please. What's going on there, Ray? People will come from all over. They'll just decide to take a vacation, see? And they'll come to Iowa City. You're not seriously listening to this, are you? Why would anybody pay money to come here? To watch the game. What the hell is she talking about? The fact remains is that you don't have the money to bring the mortgage up to date, so you're still going to have to sell. I said about monetizing it, but if no one can, people can't see them. People will come, Ray. Maybe you have to believe it to see it. They'll arrive at your door as innocent as children, longing for the past. It's only $20 per person. They'll pass over the money without even thinking about it. Just sign the papers. Fine. We have reserved seats somewhere along one of the baselines. Not oh, everyone stopped the game. <laughs> and they'll watch the game. And it'll be as if they'd dipped themselves in magic waters. People will come, Ray. You're broke, Ray. Sharp mark. Try and work it out. The one constant through all the years, Ray, has been baseball. It reminds us of all that once was good. And it could be again. People will most definitely come. You will lose everything. You will be evicted. Got to be a risk taker though, isn't he? Exactly what he said his father never did. Mm. I got Cincinnati Red there as well. Oakland A. St. Louis. St. Louis, Cardinal. yeah. Cardinal, your faves. Mm. Crazy. You, you build a baseball field in the middle of nowhere and you sit here and you stare at nothing. Get your hands off. I'm trying to help you, damn it. Whoa. Oh, shh. Oh, my God. Where the hell did that come from? Oh, my God. They got a doctor there. You can't come off the. I just got to take her hands of the field. Annie, wait. What? But you hadn't become a doctor by that age. Just wait. Is he gonna be that when he steps off, everyone can see him? What do we got here? She fell. She didn't fall, she's been pushed. This child's choking to death. Get her up. Hold her steady now. I feel like everyone was way too calm for that entire process. Hot dog, stuck in her throat. He'll be turning handsprings before you know it. I don't know if that guy can see him. I think he can, because he's just, he literally mouthed what the... Yeah. Oh my God, you can't go back. You can't go back, can hey, it's you? it's all right. I'm sorry. It's all right. Uh, he got to play. I best be getting on home. Before Alicia begins to think I got a girlfriend. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Doc. Good work, Doc. How's it going, Doc? When did these ball players get here? Hmm. Hey, rookie! <laughs> rookie. <laughs> you were good. That's all he needed? Yeah. I do, mate. Do not sell this farm, Ray. You gotta keep this farm. <laughs> so he can see now. Yeah. They don't care that he just calls their daughter to fall off yeah, the bleachers. I, I, they seem to just be fine with that now. Yeah, I don't know where, like, how that's just, we've just gone past that. I'll yeah. be livid. <laughs> yeah, same, yeah. We're gonna call it a day. See you tomorrow. Okay. All right. Hey, do you want to come with us? Come with you? Out there. What is out there? Come and find out. I want to see it. But you're not invited. What do you mean, I'm not invited? That's my corn out there. You guys are guests in my corn. I'm saying, what's in it for me? I think you better stay here, Ray. There was a reason they chose me, just as there was a reason they chose you in this field. I gave an interview. What, what interview? What are you talking about? The one about Evans Field, one that charged you up and sent you all the way to Boston to find me. Well, you lied to me. You said your finger was a gun. <laughs> Ray. So I'm confused here. Is he, if he goes with them, he dies. What a story it'll make. Shoeless Joe Jackson comes to Iowa. Are <laughs> well, you gonna write about it? What? You better not write about it. You're gonna write about it. Uh, that's what I do. Good.
Harry's been invited to go out with the other players. Oh, Do you think he's alive or? I don't know. I want a full description. Take care of this family. Though now I think about it, they did have very weird looks on their faces. Yeah, like he was talking to nobody, maybe. Yeah, like I lost the plot. And Ray asked him what he wanted. And he said yeah. dog and a beer. He didn't directly talk to the people behind no. the counter. Yeah, that's a good shout. <laughs> Yeah, that's it. That's why, do you know what? It, it registered with me that they all looked so strained. Like, and I, I just didn't think much of it at the mm. time because I was obviously still trying to piece things together. What are you grinning at, you ghost? If you build it, he will come. He's dead. Yeah. I got goosebumps. <laughs> yeah, same. Yankees, here. Yeah. It's my father. Ease his pain. Go the distance. My God. I only saw him years later when he was worn down by life. He's got his whole life in front of him and I'm not even a glint in his eye. Why don't you introduce him to his granddaughter? Hi. Hi. I just wanted to thank you folks for putting up this field and letting us play here. I'm John Kinsella. I'm Ray. My wife, Annie. This is my daughter, Karen. This is John. Hiya, Karen. We're going to let you two talk. It's very nice meeting you. Ma'am. Yeah. You catch a good game. Thank you. It's so beautiful here. Well, for me, it's like a dream come true. Can I ask you something? Is, is this heaven? <laughs> Been asked that a few times. It's Iowa. <laughs> <laughs> Iowa? Yeah, could have sworn it was heaven. I thought they were potentially going to play cat. Is there a heaven? Oh, yeah. It's the place dreams come true. Maybe it is heaven then for him. <laughs> Maybe this is heaven. <laughs> Good night, Ray. Good night, John. Hey, Dad. You want to have a catch? And it'd be a twist if Ray was dead and this was his heaven. Yeah, it almost does feel like a dream when you think about what's happened throughout this movie, you know. <laughs> nah, they're gonna fit on those bleachers. Well, they do not need to sell the farm, that's for sure. Uh, that is really open to interpretation. Yeah, I, um, yeah. Okay. Interesting. So, what, what do you reckon? I, I think I think it could be that none of it was real. Uh, that's def yeah. That's definitely a possibility. That's yeah. when he said, "Is this heaven?" No, it's Iowa. And then, yeah, um, he said, he said "Heaven is real," where dream, and it's where dreams are made dreams of. Come, so, yeah. Dreams come true, and his dream was to reconcile with his dad. It'd be great to know some of your thoughts about. Um, Definitely. What you think of the film? And, yeah. What do you take from it? Like, what is yeah. your interpretation of? Is there a set interpretation? Or I, mean, I can't imagine there is. Probably popular ones in theory, but yeah. if, if that, definitively speaking, it could be a I, whole. I don't know if range we're just things. way overthinking it, and it is just as simple as as uh, as. It's it, all because of the hot dog scene. Yeah. That is the entirety of then got me thinking about yeah. everything else, and I just thought, whoa. When even when he got up from the ballpark. When he saw the message on the board, yeah. it showed his seat saying one. Yeah. And I, I couldn't remember at the time whether, because there was someone sitting still in the seat next to it. And I couldn't remember in the scene if they had both gotten up in seat two. But it's little things like that that I didn't even, and obviously now it's way back in the movie, so yeah. I can't exactly dive, dive back into it. But I wish I had that thought way back then, and then you could point yeah, stuff out. Yeah, I know. But little things like when they were getting hot dogs, there was no one there. Yes. Like bustling ballpark, this is. It's Fenway, wasn't it? Yeah. Not not one person or yeah. a dog. 
the, the, yeah, and the, the injury to the daughter, no one really reacting to Yeah, it. she fell off the bleachers. Yep. And she was choking on a hot dog. Was she eating a hot dog before I, that? Do you know what? I can't remember. I thought about that, and I thought, was she I thought, where did the hot, hot dog, dog come from? Yeah, I couldn't remember, because I remember that she was saying, I think she may have been holding something, because she was saying something about... They, they will come and she was talking about the fact people are going to come and watch the players mm. you can probably gather now especially if you're someone if you've been watching like the, the movies done I don't know about you but you seem similar as well like, I just have an obsession with breaking things down and working them out as yeah, I go yeah, in I like and, to know. and I like if a, if a movie doesn't have a set in stone ending I like to make my own in my yeah. head like what I would like to see happen and I mean that's a perfect ending it was, it was a nice movie it, it was, was a nice movie it yeah. was I won't lie, that was confusing for long parts. I was yeah. sort of piecing together the bits. I just clicked when they were in that van. I was like, his dad was mentioned very briefly at the beginning. Yeah. It, has to be, it has to have something to do with the plot well, line. Yeah, yeah. And I um, said to you at the beginning, like when he said he really didn't like his dad, it was confusing as to why. It seems like he resented him. Obviously, his mother died young. Yeah. He was only three. He, resent, he, he, he resented, resented the fact, the fact he was, he was so old at the yeah. time. And moved away and just, yeah, held this resentment. And we didn't really get any information sort of added into that. Mm. So, yeah, she was hilarious. His, she was uh, brilliant. Well, yeah, Annie. Yeah. Annie was absolutely yeah. hilarious. I thought, Karen yeah. was a little character as well, the daughter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. definitely. Just, yeah, great, great family. Mark Knob. Oh, yeah, get rid of Mark. <laughs> absolutely Knob. And his brother. And his brother. Yes. Yeah. So I thought you were saying, and his brother. And I'm thinking, did he have met a... his brother. <laughs> no, I was thinking, did, did Mark have a brother? So yeah, and his brother. Yeah, and uh, can't try, I think, yeah, Terence Mann was funny. Yeah, brilliant That character. was some weird doorbell device, wasn't it? I yeah. Mean, what it was like that? a wind chime on the other side that when you pull it, yeah. it looks like a... That's like the stuff lavatory. things um, dreams are made of. Yeah. <laughs> it wouldn't really be in reality, surely. No, no, no. It's going to be... And I'd love to hear your thoughts on it, yeah. What are your interpretations? And if there is an accepted one, and we've just... I, I can imagine, because this is not a new film, uh, there's probably been loads of fan theories that yeah. we haven't even, even read, because we've never heard of No, 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 we, exactly. Until we started the channel, so it'd be great to know some of those theories and, and what, yeah. what they think. And seeing Ray Liotta playing that sort of character, he's got like a maniac kind of stare. Yeah. Yeah, I'm glad Shoeless Joe, well, I'm not glad Shoeless Joe was to do with the black socks, but you know, I thought that's where I'd heard the name yeah, from. Yeah, no, you put, that, you put that together really um, well. About the only thing I did, I spent the next hour absolutely confuddled. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's a word. <laughs> I think it is. Is it? I think so. Okay, let's look this up, sure. Yeah, why not? Yeah, no one wants yeah. to get on with their day. Con confuddled. Confuddled. In a state of extreme confusion, especially when unable to solve a frustrating problem. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna have to go to the hospital. Where's that doctor? <laughs> Where's old, where's old Graham? What I yeah, love is that that good. is the third baseball film that we've seen, and all three of them have been totally unique. Yeah. Nothing like any fil- film or movie, same thing, never seen before. No. I can't work out this is a coherent sentence. I'd, I'd, I'd like to. And, <laughs> yeah. I don't and, know. And, yeah, so they're completely unique, and they've just been so, so, so different, despite being about yeah. baseball. And I love that. I yeah, it's great. Definitely. And I've enjoyed them all. I've enjoyed them all mm. for different reasons. Yeah. One was real feel good family. Moneyball was just, yeah, that's brilliant. Um, yeah. And, and that one, one put was, me to work. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Put me to work. The, and the I was cogs were turning and, the whole time. Yeah, yeah. Def- like, well, if we had cogs. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much for watching it with us. We do appreciate it. Yeah, definitely. Definitely let us know your thoughts. It's going to be really interested to, to hear those. Let us know what other movies you'd like to see us watching. Yeah. Sport, non-sport, we don't mind. You put it all in there, we'll consider it for the polls and we do have many more polls. Yeah, when we put uh, a poll together, we, we go through all the previous poll comment sections yep. and we go through the comment sections of all the movies we've done. Definitely. And we collect them all from there. So yeah, don't think we'll miss your suggestion if you put it in the comments. Have a brilliant day, whatever you're up to. Thanks for being with us on this one. We'll see you on the next one. <laughs>